What's up, guys? It's uh, Tyler here for Gaming Hard, where we be gaming hard, bitch, I swear to God. And uh, now I'm showing you guys how to kill the Hydra, that nasty Hydra down there in the Dark Root Basin. Um, the reason I started the video a little bit further back instead of right up on the Hydra's first thing that I wanted to show you guys was these crystal golems. Now there's about uh, four or five of these crystal golems here in the area in front of the Hydra. And um, they can make things a little bit more problematic for you while you're trying to fight uh, the Hydra. They will come up and, and hit you and stuff like that. And while you're back here trying to fight them, that uh, Hydra will launch that uh, water cannon Hydro Blast attack at you. And But if you're kind of around this corner here where I just rolled behind, that Hydro Blast can't hit you. So it's best to deal with these Crystal Golems over here to the left so you don't have to worry about dodging uh, the Hydro Blast at the same time that you're fighting the Golems. You see there I just picked up a Blue Titanite Chunk. Those Crystal Golems do drop Blue Titanite junk Chunks occasionally. They will uh, drop them more often if you're wearing the Covetous Gold Serpent Ring. But you don't want to be wearing that ring here. The ring here you're going to be wanting to wear is the Rusted Iron Ring, which will improve your mobility in water uh, a great deal. Um, see, I'm, uh, there's a Crystal Golem there, uh, you know, trying to jump in and kind of make life difficult for us. Uh, the Hydra will take care of a couple of those Crystal Golems on its own, either by hitting them with the Hydra Blast or hitting them with that attack when they plunge their heads down. When they plunge their heads down, that's when you're going to launch your attack. Two hand, you know, the strongest weapon, and get in there and hack Hydra heads. I, I just can't find a more elegant way to put it than that. You gotta hack Hydra heads. But uh, one thing that you gotta be careful of is that cliff right there in the water. If you get too deep into the water, you're gonna fall over the edge. And sometimes these Hydra heads slam down on the other side of that cliff. So if you're running up to hit them with your weapon, you will wind up falling over the edge. So it's important to kind of watch where they're slamming down at and not get too overzealous and go chasing after the head because you're going to wind up at the bottom of the lake. I see how we just got that head off and uh, you know we've gotten most of them off here so far um, just a few left three I believe and you'll see this one over here to the far right keeps slamming its head down to the far left but it's on the other side of that cliff you see me looking down at its reflection there and seeing that it's slamming its head down on the other side of that cliff so it is not safe to go after that head. So instead, we're going to take a look and see what these other two heads of the Hydra are doing. And they're slamming down closer to the beach. And that's another thing. It's, it's, it's important that you don't want to get too far up on the beach either. Because then that Hydra is just going to start launching that water cannon attack at you and uh, hitting you with that, and that thing does a lot of damage, and it's hard to dodge. Um, okay, well, that's it. We've got the Hydra knocked out, and uh, that can be a real annoying boss. I remember on my first playthrough, I was stuck on that boss fight forever. Um, it's actually tougher than a lot of the uh, actual area bosses in the game, in my opinion. Um, so I've got a little, um, 
bonus for you guys here at the end of this video I'm going to show you guys how to unlock Dusk of Ulysseal as a merchant that you can purchase sorceries from um, what you're going to do is you're going to head around this corner once again taking care not to uh, get too deep into the water and fall over the uh, cliff side there you just want to kind of hug the uh, hug the left side and run around the corner here into this alcove like area and when you get over here, there's not going to be anything okay it's just going to be an empty space over here there's no uh, cliff side to worry about falling off of so you can just kind of stand in the in the middle of the water in this little alcove area get in that area quit your game like I'm doing here then you know press uh, start get your game loaded back up and upon your game loading back up you're going to be met by a little surprise ah oh, where'd that come from a golden crystal golem um, you know my guess is it's much like the crystal lizards uh, it was probably here but once you get into the area if you didn't get over to it fast enough um, it disappears but also like the crystal lizards you just um, you know hit the go into the start menu quit the game reload at the spawn point and when you reload the game there she is um, so this crystal golem is actually kinda tough it can curse you but if you have a uh, any curse resistance whatsoever it, it probably really won't be a concern um, just you know dodge dodge its attacks and when you kill it out pops Dusk of Ulysseal now she's gonna so, talk to us here and inform us that uh, gracious, you know she's gonna you. leave her summon I sign guess, out and uh, you can I summon can't her can't to uh, purchase that. sorceries from her now uh, when you get ready Before to purchase sorceries see, from Dusk of Ulysseal how you're gonna want to do that is you're gonna want to run please. back to the bonfire, uh, offer up some humanity, revive to human form, and run back down here to where you fought the Hydra at. Um, where the Hydra was, you're going to see Dusk of Ulysseel's summon sign, and summon her as if you were summoning someone to, um, help you take on a boss or something like that, or if you were summoning Solaire. You summon her, and uh, she shows up, and she will sell you sorceries just like uh, any other merchant. So that's the little bonus I wanted to throw in there for you guys. Uh, help you guys get that uh, all sorceries trophy. Um, have a good one. Appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. More videos on the way.